Okay. Welcome back to Parenting on the Ranch. Today is part five of our DIY playground. We have a little frog action going on over here. So stick around. We are a family of five living on a ranch in Texas. On our channel, we will cover a variety of topics. These are solely based on our experience and opinions, and we do not hold any degrees in childhood development or education. Welcome back to Parenting on the Ranch. I'm Jessica. And I'm Curtis. Thank you for tuning in to part five of our DIY playground build. Today, we're actually doing two things, one of which is a balance rope bridge, and the second part is a, a DIY hopscot yard hopscotch. So we're gonna go through on both of these. Before we do, please make sure you click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Um, if you haven't seen the previous builds for this series, I'll put a card up here above my head and uh, you'll be able to go back through and watch all the videos. But please make sure you check those out. And uh, we might have a couple more videos after this one, but it's gonna be a little ways down the road. So let's go ahead and get into the build of for today. We're going to start with the balance rope bridge. Give it a thumbs up if you like us. Give it a thumbs up if you like us. Okay, so first thing we had to do is we had to lay out all the pieces to make sure we had all the pieces that we need and uh, everything was laid out for us. Then we took a piece of 4x4 that will both determine the width of the walking bridge as well as providing the main support holding it all together. Uh, we measured down from the top of where it would be to make sure that the kids would be able to hang on to the side rails. Then we simply screwed on the uh, four befores to each side and each leg and then screwed the uh, top pieces on as well to make sure they had something to hang on to. Then we took a 3 8 inch drill bit and drilled holes approximately an inch or so up from the bottom of each one of them and put eye bolts in them. And then we took each of the steps again and measured in two and a half inches I believe and drilled uh, 3 8 inch holes in each side of those and put eye bolts in to attach the chain to. Once that was done, then it was simply getting ready to attach the chains. We also were going to put a cable through the bottom to make sure they didn't sway too much. So here is the end of the day working on the little bridge. Cassie and I went through and put Alright, so starting day two, we went and got more of the, carab the lockable carabiners and attached them to each of the steps, as you can see what I'm doing here. Then it was time to cut the chains that were going to hold each of the steps up. Uh, we measured out to 23 inches, which we figured out would be a good height for the uh, bridge that we made. And we took a pair of bolt cutters and cut the chain to length and attached them to the top pieces here, as you can see. Um, and then once all of them were cut, we uh, had to go through and attach them to the bottom, which is basically you unscrew the, the carabiners and you uh, put the chain in and screw them back down into place and they're good to go. All right, go. Go, your turn. Go slow. It'll probably keep her from going side to side though. Yeah. Go slow. Wiggly, you guys slow down. Slow down. <laughs> slow down. Go slow. Big step. Good job. Yay. Go, <laughs> Go slow. Take your time. <laughs> well, that's why we're not done yet. This is a hard big step. I think you'll eat. No, don't let's jump. Not do that. It's my turn. Gage, it's Raven's turn, buddy. He was there before you. I said, I want to put him with you. Oh, no. no. 
just leaving me. We're going to go super slow. Relax. Have fun. You look a little tense. So while Curtis works on the playground, I am actually going to be making, painting uh, stepping stones to make a stepping stone hopscotch. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use a broom and brush them off really, really good. Make sure all the dust is off and dirt. And then I'm just going to paint four. I'm doing one through ten. So I'm going to paint four of them blue, three of them pink, and three of them purple. I'm using just regular Krylon spray paint. It has paint and primer in it. So it'll stay. Um, then I'll go back with just acrylic paint and paint the numbers on. Um, white acrylic paint and paint the numbers on. And then I'll probably spray them with a clear coat after that. So I have three of each painted. I actually have two coats on them all. So I have all the papers, have all the papers painted, uh, at least two coats. It's hot, it's hot out here, so they dry super quick. I am not concerned about the sides or the back being painted. These are just your gray standard um, garden papers. I got them at Lowe's for like a dollar fifty, dollar seventy five a piece, but they are concrete sealed already. Um, primarily, I just want the color on top. I want it to pop in the grass and be able to see it when I mow so I don't run over them. Um, and that way the white will show through well, really well and they can play hopscotch on it. So I have two coats on. I painted uh, just one coat on the edges for dexterity. And I painted two coats on the top. So I'm going to let it dry really good and I'll probably come and throw another coat or two on top just to get the color to stand out. Hindsight being 2020, to get the color to stand out, I would have probably um, painted them, spray painted them white just to break up the darkness of the already gray tiles. So I would have painted them white, let them dry really good, and then painted these neon brighter colors over the top. So we'll see what it looks like when it dries and see how many more coats it takes to finish. All right, so now that we got the blocks all done, we simply took a weed eater and weed eated the ground really closely so that they had a place to lay flat at and you could see them really well. We took a white acrylic paint and painted the numbers on each of the blocks and then took a, some clear spray paint and painted over it to make sure that the numbers stay. The best part about these being individual blocks is that you can change the pattern uh, of the hopscotch okay. to suit the needs of your kids. Foot. One foot. Two foot. One foot. On the one brick, you just stand on one foot like a flamingo. Jump. Look. Gage. Like Asigo. Get off. When you're like this, put your feet apart. One foot on each brick. Jump. And land on one foot like that. Now balance. Now jump. <laughs> one foot. If you're not going to do it right, don't do it at all. Hey, let, let Daddy show you how it's done. Let Daddy show you. Ready? Okay, ready. Hop to the scotch, hop to the scotch. <laughs> <laughs> Look, stand on the one, and then like stand on the one like this. Get up there on the one like this, and now jump and land on both feet. And now jump and win, land on one foot. There you go, now jump and land. There you go, one foot. Oh. So that is it for part five of our DIY playground build. That's basically it. I mean, we I think we are done. Yeah, we got a few minor little odds and ends left to do for the playground. I wanna put, a, uh, we got a, a chalkboard thing that we're gonna be doing uh, on the main tower area. Um, 
maybe a little bracing a little bit more maybe and uh, we might have another thing that we're going to be doing a little lighter but for that for right now i think that's it other than painting it and that might wait a little bit and so, maybe maybe some pea gravel down the road yeah. so yeah we'd like to put a little board around gravel. it and put some, pea gravel. <laughs> and yeah. put some pea gravel down so it's a little it's easier on the kids to play so thank you very much for tuning in and watching this video in the series. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and click the bell. Click the bell. <laughs> <laughs> like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you very much for tuning in. And until next time, happy, happy parenting. Happy parenting. Happy parenting. Happy parenting. Happy parenting. Say bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Thanks for bye. watching. Bye.